All right, so we're going to be talking about why the world is in a anxious rush. Everywhere you go, motherfuckers is rushing. You drive on the road, majority of drivers on the road is going to like try to rush past by you and shit like that in speed. Not saying that I drive like a grandma, but you know what I mean. Especially um pickup trucks. Yo, them motherfuckers be speeding. But anyway, so the world being in an anxious rush is pretty much like some witchcraft. It's like a spell that they got the that the shadow government got the whole world in. And it's like it all really links all the way back to like when the first organized humans started tracking like time with the sun, tra tracking the sun and the moon tracking the seasons you know tracking all that shit because once they figured shit out um they used that as witchcraft or or a convincing argument to other spirits who didn't know about this shit as to why they should follow them and how they could and, and their rules and how to organize humanity and societies and shit like that and settlements and shit at, at, at the earlier times because you would want to be cool with someone who could tell you or or predict when winter is coming if you don't know how to predict it for yourself you feel me so it kind of like so really time the reason why i'm bringing that up is because time we have to look at time how it plays as, as a factor in this human life and in humanity as a whole as a whole as an overall timeline from when humanity first started in the roots all the way to what the fuck we got now remember we wouldn't have none of this organized shit if time wasn't in place first without time this shit wouldn't even be organized to even run and operate to operate the way it do so um keep that in mind so everything is like all stems from a, a masonic programming and a masonic buildup of the world both uh uh operatively and speculatively shout out to the pilot man for those terms pretty much um talking about how the mills how the everything is built from a masonic um um practice and it's and, it, and it's both the physical like literally how they built shit structures in the physical and also the non-physical the, the mental and the spiritual how they built humans and how they built humanity to to program y'all they built your minds and shit to make y'all a certain way to function as a, a citizen or a regular civilian in their world type shit so that's they literally built the whole entire world so the fact that that humanity is in an anxious rush is partially because of the uh, the people who created and run the world and their ancestors and shit they used human natures to play and cater to hu to, to what humans um um lacked and their flaws was aka a human not being um uh independent enough and a critical thinker enough to actually and aware enough to actually track shit for themselves without needing another man's help or another spirit's help so they took advantage of that right and not only that but they they, they catered to other human animalistic lower desires that humans still have some humans or a lot of humans a lot of spirits still haven't gotten out of like um um you know uh a whole bunch of desires uh and 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 that could go from anywhere to like um greed uh over desire for wealth or some shit that could go or or power that could go for um whatever you over desire in this life um whether it's whatever the fuck is man made it if even if it's like money and the shit that they print out of thin air that really don't have no value they just trick y'all into doing that that's the witchcraft that's the spells it's the same so they so that they play into y'all desires y'all human nature desires because they know it and correlate these things better than y'all can you feel me that's why the, the shadow government could come together and actually be a team to control the world and why humanity can't do the same thing because the rest of humanity is lost in their desires and their desires is what, what was um not only is it something that humans got to deal with from a nature perspective but it was also programmed into them as well due to the ones who run the program creating the program to cater to y'all desires to keep y'all lost in the sauce so um you're not aware that you're in an anxious rush for shit that is all just bullshit and man-made like motherfuckers say i got i got 
I got no time for anything but to go get rich and get money. I got no time for anything but to go fuck bitches and 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 and, 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 and uh, get my rocks off and shit. I ain't got no time but to. Uh, um, do what I think is the best or what I got to do to succeed in this life Everybody and this is how they made a dog eat dog world and it's part of the spells and witchcraft of why they got all these humans and the in these anxious rushing state of beings because Everybody knows as humans that we ain't gonna be here forever, right? So they they give y'all like this FOMO energy like fear of missing out energy like you gotta go out and do everything you can because you only have a limited amount of time type shit and this is why this world lacks spirituality because if you are a spiritual being you have nothing to be rushing for or, or nothing to be impatient about because you know that your spirit is motherfucking infinite beyond this goddamn lost ass physical this limited ass retarded ass uh Roman Roman reads hard physical shout out to the pilot man for shit. <laughs> you feel me a bunch of little boys <laughs> Yo, I love it. I love those sayings. Anyway, let me get back on, on, on point um, But yeah, a bunch of little Masonic men and women you feel me that are in a rush to be the most Successful a bunch of bunch of dumbass sheeps and retards when really this world it ain't shit So like everybody's in an anxious rush to prove to other other everybody is in their ego to prove to others that they some shit and everybody else that they proven shit to they, they got the same ego and it's just a whole bunch of egotistical motherfuckers trying to prove who's a better masonic program man or woman aka who's the most successful in, in, in the eyes of society and shit and it's all just a bullshit ass big ass witchcraft while the people who who created and run the world they 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 throw out and create new operational variables or new distractions for humans to get lost in just to keep their world going. And they they, they laugh at y'all while doing it, too. So, um, yeah, this world is in an anxious rush due to the, 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 the witchcraft of the system itself that was created based off manipulation and witchcraft of spirits who are less aware of themselves and life and due to these spirits having a lack of spirituality to, to, to not get lost in their animalistic human natures this is why we have an anxious uh rush energy in the world this is why everybody is in a rush and don't really got because everybody lacks spirituality and, and they don't got and they don't even have time to tap in with their own spirit and just sit there and do nothing and be satisfied with nothing this is how we have a whole bunch of demons and bots in this world and i, I don't even like to use the term demons because that's too religious and shit but it is true like uriel be saying motherfuckers just be demons straight up lost in their own man-made demonic desires that was given to them to be lost in and it's just crazy we live in a fucked up ass anxious world like full of anxiety but all the anxiety is built built off of like peer pressure from society and shit like that so it's like really fucked up so this is why this world this babylon is like hell you feel me so all the spirits who are lost in babylon and, and, and law or give too much power to the physical or the external and lack their own spirituality and their own internal they're and they're they're already by default in an anxious rushing energy you feel me they can they'll never be satisfied they'll always be looking for the next thing to accumulate because that's what the system does to these type of spirits and humans it caters to their lower animalistic natures and shit like that while uh, while you know the more spiritual spirits we don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it at least the, the spiritual enough ones. You feel me? I, I don't know. I know it's a lot of spiritual proclaimed so called spiritual spirits still give a fuck. And I, I, I'm not saying we're not supposed to have empathy or not give a fuck. There's equilibrium in anything. You feel me? I mean, there's equilibrium in everything. So, my point is like, until all humans can like s just s slow the fuck down realize what the fuck they at and who the fuck they is and just spend some time on the right shit learning how to not be lost in the sauce of an anxious rush uh witchcraft spell that they got society in you feel me because before you can even begin to learn or get spiritual or, or realize what the fuck is going on and become aware and enlightened you got to have patience to learn you feel me that's the problem with a lot of humans and a lot of humans with their egos think they already fucking know it all so they don't want to keep growing and keep learning like all wise spirits do i stay learning i stay growing i don't fucking stop even with the big ass awareness i currently have you feel me it's just part of my spiritual responsibility and accountability to keep my awareness as big as it possibly can fucking be because that's me showing spirit that i'm trying and spirit love motherfucking spirits that are trying you feel me so 
So when you hear when you hear spirits talk about, oh, I don't have time to sit down and learn and blah, blah, blah. These spirits are really just lost in the sauce. They lack spirituality. They might even be mentally lazy or spiritually lazy and don't want to learn because they, they want to they rather just give, you know, their energy to other weaker, easier shit to get lost into, like desires or making excuses for themselves for themselves. Like they don't want to fucking learn shit. Like they rather just be like, oh, who gives a fuck? I don't want to learn shit. But anyway, I mean, and you, and, and you don't really got to learn. Nobody's forcing y'all to learn anything. I'm just saying, like, my point is, like, we got to, like, at least try enough to find ourselves so that way we can have spiritual equilibrium without giving too much power to the external. And and because little do y'all spirits know is that y'all let them put y'all in this anxious rush. And the more you give power to that, the more you're going to accumulate of that. You, you feel me? You get you get uh you get back what you put out and if you always in that energy you're gonna keep manifesting more situations and circumstances of being in that energy so like this is how like spirits who are always in a rush and is always anxious to do as much as they can this is how they end up in like traffic jams or taking the wrong route or the gps fucking up like all types of shit <laughs> like they just manifest more frustration and, and, and more um time wasted you feel me and don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here to say that you to just go with the flow and be completely lazy and not have motivation and just waste your time or 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 or, or not even waste your time, but like not hustle enough or whatever. Everybody got their own pace. That's my point. But you want to correlate your pace, your spiritual pace in a way where you're not over exhausting yourself. And a lot of spirits let the system and the external over exhaust their spirit to the point where they live in a life chasing 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 being in an anxious rush trying to do the next thing but they only accumulate more of that and they get more setbacks because their energy is fucked up see here's the thing y'all spirits got to know like when your your actual literal state of being is like that shit is real like like you got to like really pay attention to how you feel at the moment so if for example um now let me i got i got to ask you this question are you enjoying the 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 journey of your purpose or are you lost in the sauce of a specific outcome or expectation that you over desire keep that in mind because a lot of spirits the reasons why they're in these rushing energies these anxious impatient energies of frequency demons and and, and, and vibrational demons that make them feel and think like they have to be in these energies the reasons why they a lot of spirits are in these energies is because they're not they don't even have a, a, a satisfying spiritually fulfilling enough purpose within themselves to enjoy to actually enjoy doing something at the moment. Why do I say that? Because if you actually enjoy the moment doing the things that you actually love to do, you're not in a rush. You're not concerned with a specific outcome or expectation. You you just enjoying the motherfucking moment, living your life to the fullest. That's what it really means to live your life to the fullest. Living each moment, doing the things you like to motherfucking do. Not you thinking that living life here to the fullest is, oh, I got to get as rich as I can. And oh, I got to get this outcome. I got to get this expectation. Let me go get it right now. No, that's you being an unfulfilled wanting energy. Uh, Pete, my video, the, the, the having energy versus the wanting energy. That's you just doing it all fucked up. And you're going to keep staying in that state of being if you don't realize that's what you're doing to your own spirit. That's the witchcraft and spells you do to your own spirit. And that's part of the program and the system that was in, put in place for y'all to get lost into you feel me so um it's really important to figure out what you actually like to motherfucking do and just do that shit every day there's like make it a lifestyle you feel me the most fulfilled spirits and in, in, um during these especially during these times is the ones who actually have a fucking lifestyle you feel me if you don't got a fucking lifestyle then your life it might be boring or mundane or you might be giving too much time to the man or you might just be giving too much time to shit that has nothing to do with like anything that you're producing or creating for yourself because as spirits we like what what i say in my last of my other video creativity is one of the strongest forms of spirituality it, it ain't nothing more fulfilling or better than creating and if you don't believe that watch that video but my point is when you can create something and build something for yourself and, and, and tap into your own world aka your own spirit and just live in that in your own timeline you're not gonna be you're you're gonna be in your own little bubble 
your own little reality amongst a bigger reality that you're not but you're not going to let the bigger reality penetrate your bubble or or penetrate your world with its pressure of you got to do this that and the third in order to, to to be looked at as this that and the third and and then they just give you that anxious rush energy don't don't let the, don't let this world do that to y'all don't let this world do that to y'all pay um what's that what's that motherfucking quote um slow and steady wins the race that shit is actually very true and real it, it's not 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 trying to be cliche or anything but that that really is a real lot some real ass shit slow and steady wins the race because you're enjoying the journey and you're not um and you're gonna get the most out of the journey in this race so that when, when when you hear that quote is not technically talking about saying um it's not saying that the race is something you got to rush towards and win you feel me at the end of this uh, at the end of this uh, of a specific expectation or desire you may have that's not really what that quote mean what that quote really mean is is talking about like patience the race of life like like as if it's a marathon as if you got to pace yourself you feel me if you were rushing and, sh and you're rushing in your hardest to get to the end of a long ass marathon you're gonna run out of breath while the other spirits who are pacing and enjoying the scenic view of the long ass marathon they run in, they're going to win the race because the, tr the only way to really win this race of life is to realize it's not really a race to see who's first or, or, or the best. It's really a race in terms of like growth. If you really want to look at it like that, like how, how much can you grow yourself? You feel me that that's really the real race. You feel me? Like, cause you really only racing with yourself. You it ain't no motherfucker. That's why every spirit's got to stop giving so much power to the external and look more internal and see where, where they got to fucking grow at. Don't let this world put you in an anxious rush type energies. Um, or don't make don't let this world give you that FOMO energy or fear of missing out type shit or whatever the fuck it's called. But yeah, this is why the world is in an anxious rush. And I'm going to end it like that.